Hey, I'm Wendy with Loaves and Dishes, and today we're going to be making some delicious smoked chili con queso. Your family is going to be delighted. So there's the ingredients that you need. And the first thing you need to do is brown your ground beef. Now, I had some kind of camera failure, so you're catching this already browned. <laughs> but what I wanted to show you is that don't let that delicious um, fawn at the bottom of the pan go to waste. Use a little bit of your um, chicken broth and with the heat still on, just pour a little bit in there, like a quarter of a cup. Doesn't have to be much. And um, use your wooden spoon and scrape that around and that is gonna add a ton of delicious flavor to your chili con queso. So mix that all around and then we're gonna get ready to pour it into our pan that we'll take to the grill. This is Wendy. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you'll join Sarah and I on our mother-daughter adventures in takeout. You can find Dorks with Sports wherever you download podcasts or at dorkswithsports.com. And here we are. I have a 9 by 13 aluminum pan that I'm going to use on my grill. And I'm just putting the um, browned Oh, I said hamburger earlier, but it's actually sausage. So, um, Put your so ground, browned sausage in there. And then we're gonna add, that's some minced garlic, and you can definitely use the kind that comes in a jar instead. But I have a lot of heads of garlic laying over there, so I needed to use that up. Then just cut up your Velveeta, or the Aldi brand cheese food is really good too, in about one inch pieces, and spread them around your pan. It's not science, because you're going to mix this all up later. It just helps it um, melt more evenly on the grill this way. So get your cheese in there. And then a can of Rotel or the um, tomatoes and green chilies. I'm using the Aldi brand there. And some onion powder. You can definitely use um, actual real onion. I just have somebody coming tonight who doesn't like real onion. And then this is liquid smoke. Be so careful adding this because it is very strong. You only want a few drops around in there. And then we're going to add our jalapenos and this is just according to your taste. So I probably put 12 little slices of jalapeno in there. Not much, because um, we don't do good with a whole lot of spice. And you could leave that out entirely if you wanted to. And now I'm going to take it right on out to the smoker for about 30 minutes. Then mix it all up really well and add a sprinkle of grated uh, pepper jack on top. Look at that. Isn't that delicious? <laughs> One thing you'll want to remember is that when you're adding your chicken stock, that will make it as loose as you want it to be. Okay, enjoy!